time for another trip, this time going down to Chicago, and I have pretty much no anxiety because I am actually driving this time, which should be good. Uh, I would say it's a zero out of 10, but the only thing that has me a little bit concerned, um, which registers probably a, as a one, maybe two at the most out of 10, is worrying about that one back there because this is going to be about three times longer <laughs> than the longest trip that she's ever had and she is not exactly the the best in cars so we're gonna try this out took some precautions all the ones that i could and hopefully we make it without puking mainly her and get there as safe as possible made it into Wisconsin probably a little bit over a third of the way through our trip and we are in Milston Wisconsin and Evie is at the dog park so so far so good no puking by her and minimal whining in the car but so far so good we just went through Madison and as you can see someone is a little bit loving because just like me she has her anxiety for a little puppy I can understand but we're getting closer so just about two hours or so until we hit Chicago got in Chicago probably a couple hours ago and already went to Chicago diner had some vegan food there super good and now I'm at Reckless Records and just bought a few albums and good selection here and now just gotta wait until the game so only a few hours until I can be at the gates and they're playing Flaming Lips covering Dark Side of the Moon this is my kind of place I asked one of the employees what his recommendation was they didn't have any seven inches so he asked if I was interested in just anything so he pointed me to this CD and it's supposed to be really eclectic, um, a lot of noise, some jazz influences, pretty much every instrument um, under the umbrella kind of covered in this album here. A 10 inch on blue vinyl, Mad Season, Lane Staley, basically my favorite musician right now, Zach Hill, the drummer for Death Grips, Astrological Straits, his second solo LP, Face Tat, a band called Not A Surf, The Stars Are Indifferent to Astronomy, I really like the way that they've matured over the last few albums. And then a local group from Minnesota called Low, and this is the Loser Edition on Sub Pop. This is my puppy, Evelyn. Say hi, Evie! <coughs> Alright. And here's the place that I'm staying at. The first time that I've ever done a Airbnb. I brought Evie's kennel with. But basically everything that you could hope for Small kitchen, behind there is the bathroom. Nice area for Evie to lay down and I might be able to share the bed with her tonight too. Another little two couches that also pull out and a TV. And the best thing of all, it's only a few blocks away from Wrigley. That's not actually a view of Wrigley, it's just a poster.
Cubs win 8 to 7 in the bottom of the 13th. Nice walk off. Took forever. It's about 12:30 now. And I have to wake up in another two and a half hours. So I'll have to take the dog out, but ended the night with a total of four. And two of them were the commemorative, so that one is crossed off the list. Feels really good. Um, got in on the field pass, which unfortunately I did not use tonight because, well, it's already super late and I didn't want to get home past one. And really, it was a fun experience. I mean, I'd always recommend Wrigley, between Wrigley and Fenway, I've already said it, go to those places. They're classics. Other than that, drive back tomorrow is gonna be a little bit brutal, but still, you can't beat baseball. Thanks for watching. And have a great night, or morning, I guess. And really, whenever you're watching this, have a great one of those. Bye. On the way back, Evie's doing pretty well. Kind of a little bit drooly, but that's about it. And feel good. Slept an extra hour, which didn't plan on, but it's better than falling asleep at the wheel. How was Chicago? How was Chicago? Oh, it was good? Would you recommend it? Do you want to go back? Would you go back? You would? Okay. I don't know that I've met 